Greg Cazillo, Cazillo.com. I'm out photographing golf today at the Robert G. Holmes Memorial Golf Outing hosted by the Lionville Fire Company. Uh, I'm a member of that fire company and so I get great access to a lot of fun stuff and this is one of the fun ones to go out and shoot. Even if you're not a member, I'd suggest getting out and photographing a golf outing like this. They're a lot of fun. I've done them for uh, Chambers of Commerce, that kind of thing too. So they're a lot of fun. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves pictures. And so let's talk a little bit about how I'm going to shoot, what I'm shooting, and uh, actually a little bit about the video rig that I have set up today. Uh, I'll show you some pictures of this. It's a uh, Manfrotto clamp and then a uh, Manfrotto head uh, and then my camera mounted on that because I didn't want it to bring my tripod today. So I have that mounted actually on my golf cart and uh, so that's your angle right now. I'm actually staring at the golf cart. <laughs> so I'll show you some pictures of that and uh, give you a rundown of all the video gear that I'm using to shoot this shot. Uh, now as far as the photos are concerned, I'm primarily shooting with my D3S and 70-200 and of course my D3 and 300mm 2.8. Um, I need to stand a little bit farther away. I don't want to be right on top of the golfer. It probably makes people uncomfortable. Um, the other thing is, is that when you're shooting, uh, when they're teeing off, you obviously don't want to be right in front of them. You've got to be off to an angle a little bit and so I definitely don't want to be right there in front of them because I might get hit with a ball and of course I'm going to be disturbing them so I don't want to be too close or anything like that so the 300 at a, at a decent gives me a decent distance but I can still fill the frame when I'm you know 20 30 40 50 feet back you know whatever it is depending upon the height of the person that kind of thing it ends up uh, giving me really good photos now I know last time the last video I did I talked about using the single point uh, focus. Uh, so far today I've actually had really good luck uh, letting the camera pick it and I forget what this is mode is called but I'll show you I'll, I'll put that up on the screen in the title and uh, anyway it's it, it's allowing the camera to pick that uh, the spot and it does move back and forth on me a little bit and miss it every once in a while but it's been pretty good. Um, one other thing that I did notice when I'm on continuous it doesn't give me the full nine frames it'll be a little bit slower uh, which is good because that means I'm not shooting as much but it's bad because I might miss a photo in between so uh, I definitely noticed that when I switch to that different mode that sometimes happens um, I know some other things that I want to talk about and maybe I'll do some video of me actually shooting uh, but the main thing is is have fun shoot photos of everybody make sure that uh, you know go up say hi how you doing I'm shooting photos today and you know I'll put them up on the website for everybody to look at um, I think that's all for right now but I'll probably be back with more Going horizontal because I'm not quite tight enough to get a nice vertical. Shoot a couple practice. Get the dad in the background or the guy in the background definitely for a nice recomposed shot. Got a good horizontal. Let it rip for a couple. Hold and wait because I get a good inspection. As he ducked down, that was good. Great shot. Got the, uh, somebody smiling in the background. Turned out really well. Should be some really good shots in there. Nice. Again, I'm a little bit off to an angle here. Can't be right in front of these guys because uh, I could hit, get hit with the ball. Going on the single point. Just got a single point of focus right on him. That was that was coming right at me. I saw that bad boy coming right at me. Long as I get to keep the ball. <laughs> it's no problem. I didn't get hit. I'm good. I understand it's at my own risk. <laughs> Was it that close? <laughs> See what I mean? 
had to restart the camera. Nice bulk of background. This is good. Still horizontal. Put them on the right third. Shoot some other candid stuff as I'm going here. And it is always good. Just following, 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 following. Good. That was some really cool stuff. Turned out really well. I'm very happy with those that uh, series of shots. So that's what I'm doing constantly. Uh, interacting with them, having fun. It's just really, really good. A lot of fun. Got a nice background. Looks really good. Got a real nice background. Let's see. I think I'm going to go for a little lower angle this time. I got a nice background. So let's try it. Yeah, this is good. Real nice. Shooting up. Tighten up my tripod collar here. Looking good, shooting up at them. I switched off to a single shot, off a single shot. Everybody's standing, looking, waiting. Got that classic pose. Love that. Get that eye and that ball up. Lining up for the shot. Yep, got to get that reaction. That was good. Got a good reaction. I'm switching to the other side because I got too much butt in that shot. People are righties, and I need to be on their left side. Ah, uh, yes, I got the ball coming right down. Yep, good expression, hands in the air, very good. Keeping the eye in there. Keeping the eye in the camera. That makes a big difference. There we go. Still looking. Kind of had a little bit of a crotch shot there, so I don't know if that would be a good photo or not. I like seeing the ball, low angle, up underneath the brim of the cap. That's good. There we go. Look up. Look up. Looking for that connection. Keeping that ball in the corner. Any reaction? Yep, there was a reaction. Yep, he dropped his head. That was my reaction. Alright, here we go again. One more time. Line it up, keeping that ball. Looking good, looking good, very nice. Good background. Blown out, 2.8. 1250 ISO 200. Aperture priority. The bugs. Follow focus. Follow, follow. As he's walking. So how did I do today? Well, let's start off with exposure and stuff. Uh, number one, I had uh, my exposure was set around 2.8 2 almost all day. Um, that's number one. Aperture priority is my normal thing. I like a blurry background. It's just what I prefer. It's my type of photo. 
Uh, so that's how I shoot. And um, let's see, obviously my ISO as low as possible. I was definitely on aperture priority today because I didn't want to have to worry about having any issues uh, with the sun going in and out, up and down, all that stuff. Um, you know, that's the last thing that I want to screw up or, or ended up end up messing up is because, um, you know, I'm jumping to grab a shot or I'm trying to grab a quick shot and to have an issue with that, um, with my aperture, or, you know, with my settings were a little bit off because I was trying to shoot manual. So, um, this type of shooting, I prefer aperture priority and so that's my thing. That's what I do. And uh, how did everything else go? I think it went well. Uh, no complaints, no problems. Um, just got to, right now I'm looking around to make sure I don't get in anybody's way on the cart path as I'm riding around. Um, but overall, I think it was a, a very good event, uh, a lot of fun. And I think the main thing with uh, this type of event is having fun, uh, enjoying it, having fun, talking with the guys, joking, you know, enjoying and women, uh, you know, enjoying the time that, I'm, that I have out and um, you know just making the best of it uh, be you know be a good representative for both my company as well as the fire company or if it is even you know another uh, big corporate sponsor or something like that you know do my best to to really um, be a good personable friendly person friendly guy that is enjoying it and uh, being there for everybody so um, yeah I think that's it I think that's everything in a nutshell hear somebody screaming over there in the, in the next field over I guess I hit a good shot uh, and I don't think I'm in anybody's way so that's good um, yeah I think that's everything so uh, Greg Cazillo Cazillo.com